So you see, now I'm doing my sound with this simple device. Instead of spending $1,500, $2,000 on a mic, $99. All right, what is the best IDE, Integrated Development Environment, or code editor that you can use? You talk to 10 different nerds, you're going to get 11 different answers. So this is my opinion. If you are doing a software development, Java or PHP, in terms of an IDE, I would go with PHP Storm. And that's simply because I've heard from, well, my lead developer uses PHP Storm and he loves it, but also I'm biased because PHP Storm is created by JetBrains and they're not paying me at all, uh, but I'm a big fan of JetBrains because they really uh, revolutionize IDEs with uh, their Java IDE, which all of a sudden, the name of the Java IDE popped right out of my head, but you can just type in JetBrains, Java IDE, and that's called IntelliJ. There we go, it's IntelliJ, amazing tool, especially if you get into refactoring and stuff like that. They were, they were ahead of the game 10 years ago or so, and uh, apparently they still are. If you don't want to get into a full-fledged IDE with all the power that they provide, which I recommend, then you can get into a code editor like Sublime Text, which is really, really cool because it's very customizable with, with, uh, with uh, shortcuts and all kinds of things you can do with it. It's very, very powerful code editor in terms of whatever type of code you're writing, whether it be PHP, HTML, JavaScript, whatever you want, I, uh, Sublime Text can support it. Although if you're, again, like I said, I would go with PHP Storm for PHP if I was doing some full-fledged PHP development. Uh, and I would use uh, the IntelliJ for Java. I was doing that. Of course, if you're doing Swift programming, I code. Uh, yeah, if you're doing Swift programming uh, for uh, iOS, there we go. Uh, then you're just going to have to use uh, Apple's IDE. Of course, that's what you want to use there. Uh, beyond that, if you were learning to code for the first time, learning web stuff, HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, PHP, SQL, using my courses or any courses, then I would either recommend Sublime Text or you could go with maybe Adobe Brackets, which is kind of cool. Although, you know, whatever code editor that you use, but those two are kind of cool. They can kind of look sleek. And that's my recommendations, although Notepad++ and a whole bunch of other ones out there are pretty cool as well. But this is my quick choice. Again, this is going with my quick, super-duper-fast vlog style to make it easy for people to find stuff. Ciao, bye.